Hello. Okay, Ito, pipin na dito pa sito. Uh -huh. So, Because if you're not doing it, you don't see 
what toxins you're putting in your body. Yes. So, you know, slowly, so I started using the items and I was like, okay. And then eventually I purchased my own, my own uh, uh, stuff. And, you know, you have to think about it in a, in a way of, like, it's kind of like you buy a car. They buy a more of a general chingo. Why would you get that specific car, right? It's the same thing with Salad Master. If you try, really try the product and know what it's about and the benefits that can, it can do for your body, uh, because it's promoted as a healthy cooking um, uh, cooker, right? Uh, so aside from, you know, you can cook more healthy and making sure that you're not um, getting cancer, <laughs> you know, uh, carcinogenic, uh, products in your body, then you know that you can think of it as okay, how many members are in your family? So, so I mean, we're all the whole family. But how many times do we eat a day? Uh, well, now we only eat one meal a day because we have intermittent fasting in the family. Kaya sexy po ako yun. But um, that it started with Salad Master. You can taste the difference. You can't see the difference, but if you were to look under it and look at it under a microscope or like scientifically, you would be so shocked at the things that you're putting in your body if you don't use salad mustard. So actually, even um, you should actually see the difference, even by the color, right, of the meat and the vegetables. Yeah. So if you have not done a pot test yet, okay. that you guys have to try the pot test because then you'll know the difference when you try. Versus other pots, um, and then you think of it as okay. So how many members are in your family? Two, three, four. Uh, how many times do you eat a day? Divided by four. Time you divide by three. You say three meals a day, and you think okay. Um, if you take the total cost and you divide it, then that's how much you're paying per day for the item that you purchase. So it's it's well worth it. I mean, if you believe in the, the brand and you know what you're, that you're getting a quality that it's worth every single penny. Thank you. Yeah, well, how, uh, now, so what I do with Salad Master is, um, I have friends that um, are in uh, um, Serena's, and my husband leads a Bible study every single Monday. We've been doing it for over a year now. And um, it's, for me, part of Salad Master is community. We really enjoy going there every Monday night. I'm not getting paid to go there. Um, in fact, I'm kind of promoting Salad Master every single week uh, because I believe the product and it's not about what I, what I can benefit, you know, financially. But um, I don't necessarily sell. Um, I have sold to a friend accidentally because I cooked dinner for a friend at my house and she asked me questions. She said, I'm curious about that. And then the big one, she said, but that was not, not intentional. And she's so happy. She lives in Utah now and she, she's so happy with Salad Master. I always ask her from time to time, do you need advice, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, so, so yeah, so I, we are definitely Salad Master users, and I, we, there's no, in fact, my, my son is the one who's telling me now, Mom, gumagamit ka ng Salad Master, pero yung chopping board na in plastic. You have to get it on 360 times, and you're still chopping board. Which is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Even what we drink out of, you know, it has to be like, you know, glass and, there is we're just consuming too much in our body now that's not good for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you yes, yes. Thank you for your question. Hi, Anita. Welcome to Winnipeg. Yes. I've been a Pillsbury nut cake, 
for birthdays and I would make it from scratch. You also make cooking salsa. Yeah, you know, for the birthdays, that was so much fun. So they start to ask again. But I used to get an allowance of twenty dollars every two weeks. And when it was somebody's birthday or like Valentine's would come up, I just had this like everybody's plan ahead. And then I would save a little bit of money because see, most of my 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 allowance goes to hair spray. No one made it easy. Yeah, that's what happens up here. Oh, put hair spray in your allowance. But but I would really set aside money, and then I would do a special dinner. So I knew somehow in the future I was going to become a chef. I just didn't know how I was going to get there. And then um, I saw the movie Ratatouille, and that inspired me. The scene where the brother is teaching his brother how to eat, you know, like um, the you know different flavors, how they complement each other. And I couldn't breathe because I got so excited that years later, though, I went to culinary school. And so now, you know, I'm turning 15 in December. Um, it doesn't look like it, but I definitely feel it in my body. <laughs> um, it's different because as a chef, you know, when you work in the corporate setting or in a, in a real kitchen, standing on your feet all day long uh, and carrying heavy equipment and me being very OCD about organization and cleanliness. It's, I spend too much time cleaning as I go. If I don't clean, I spend too much time and it's not healthy for me. So eventually, I decided uh, mas uh, mas ang mga artist. So I But so now, I think I found myself a healthy medium because I don't need to know because I'm married and I'm, I'm happily married, very happily married. He's, I wish he could be here today. Um, I don't need to worry about the bills anymore. So my husband allows me to do whatever I want. And when you come across people like Christina, who we, we met at a salad master event in Las Vegas, and I just happened to mention that uh, I did an event, a culinary event, like what we're doing tomorrow. And she said, I like that, let's do it. This was only three weeks ago. We only, you know, we should have planned this months ago, you know, but she told, I said, are you sure you don't want to, you know, delay it, make it be, no, 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 let's do it. So I said, okay, and then we got to score the resin uh, in and plan that, plan that in. So it's, it became so exciting. And we're hoping that uh, for everybody who's going to, to be there tomorrow, if they like it and it becomes successful, we'd love to take this on tour. So what's your favorite thing? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> um, my answer to that is I don't have a favorite because when I eat something, I don't want to see that thing for a long time. And I want to switch to something else. That's the reason why I actually became a chef. Because I'm a guy. So you, for example, you tasted it. So yeah. you don't want to taste it again tomorrow? Well, next month. Oh, so you should be Okay. I did it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In fact, sometimes as a chef, I'm sure those are the back. Hi, it's our team in the back. Hi, guys. Thank you for coming. Sometimes the the downside, in a sense, of being a chef is that when you cook it, you don't want to eat it. And my, the dishes that I've created, you know, are very meticulous, and, and, you know, and then eventually, like, it, it just loses the joy. James, I have one question. What is your favorite Filipino dish that you want to eat in your family? I like to dress it up. You know, I don't like This is what I love. Like. I love taking your favorite Filipino comfort and adding a twist to it to modernize it and make it slightly different. So um, I used to work, I was a brand ambassador for a company before and I would create modern Filipino dishes. So I came up with things like, um, my signature dish uh, is durian chicken curry and it's deglazed with brandy. Um, so when you place it with the brandy, you like the smell, the, the durian smell that a lot of people don't like. It's, it's very subtle and sublime. And it's creamy. It's just different. Durian chicken curry is that tomorrow? No. no. We, were we, were, yeah, we were worried about ingredients. Ingredients. Yeah. No, we were worried about ingredients if we could source the land from the Yeah. Oh, you do that. Yeah. For next time. Yeah, you can do that. 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 Yeah, you can do that.
Yeah. Okay. Well, frozen or fresh. Yes. Yeah. 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 Frozen is also good too. And then, um, of course, I strip a strain in, so there's no more fibers in it. It's very creamy. It's you've never tried anything like it before. It's just something different than an actual copper coconut. You know, so um, you need that with rice. So what else? Um, one of my favorites that I've ever done was chocolate karakare. Because you want to make karakare, you know, everybody knows how to make karakare. But you made it with chocolate. What else? My husband really loves making picadillo. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, by the way, if you would like the recipe for picadillo, um, it's on uh, the second season of my cooking show, Taste of Secrets, on TFC. So, Talking about innovation, uh, what are your future plans uh, in improving your culinary uh, expertise? Hmm. You know, my husband and I, because my husband, uh, he's a professional singer. Have you guys heard him sing before? I, I've, I've seen him on Instagram and YouTube. Okay, so he um, sings uh, full time in retirement homes in Orange County. These are five star uh, retirement homes, but it's his passion. And the week he does events and stuff, so he sings opera, he sings the classics like Frank Sinatra, he can do r and the pop and all of that, so. Um, but he, his background is he was a food microbiologist, he used to teach in La Salle and international school before, yeah. And then um, he started a catering company with his family, and he was catering for 3,000 people every day. So, nalalas yung book niya. Um, so, major. So, um, kaya siya sa akin sa akin. Wag mo nang pursue a culinary full time, kasi lalabas mo yung book niya, magpapahir transplant mo daw. So, we do it for fun, but we compete in the kitchen. Like, he thinks he's the best in the kitchen. He's good, he's good, but I still think I'm better. So, we're always at it. We're always trying to outdo each other. Although I don't know, you know, the culinary industry is cutthroat, you know, as in most industries, but this one is, ang kalaban dito yung itad natin eh. Because, you know, being in the kitchen. So, but I really love the letter of gastronomy. I still, I know it's a little unpassé right now, but I love the idea of modernizing Filipino food. It just gets me so excited. And so, Today, as we were preparing the, because we're doing an eight course degustation for tomorrow. Um, do you want me to mention the menu? Sure. Okay, so we finalized the menu today. And, um, let's see. Sitting shots for sure. So we do, we're doing a kick young starter. That's um, courtesy of one of our chefs here. Ground pork lettuce wraps, sitting out shots. Um, we have a sensorium in the vape room. We have um, Asian kale and peanut slaw with um, gata. Bourbon grilled chicken and rice. Dinagdahan. We're doing a granita rose, which is a palate cleanser, but it's not okay. It's um, just a play on my name, you know, get the granita rose. Granita rose. Oh, ako na ako na ako um, and then uh, the last two dishes are smoked whitefish for the chunky or with exo sauce. And then uh, for dessert, we have a salted caramel uh, vanilla bean taco with crispy rice. Wow. That's not even effort. Alam niyo parang ginawa ko na yung mga before kaya safe. Because I wasn't sure what to expect. Right, right. Pero now that we know that the team has been full on supports of the sign, so much more, but you know, that's next time, next time. Yeah. Your photo. Sorry, good photo. Good So anyway, your mom is from Mangatina. Yes. Do you have any kind of culinary fusion between the Pakistani cuisine, mm -hmm. 
with the American cuisine. Give us an example where in where you can feel something about the practice in I know <laughs> this and is really funny. And American So my dad, um, for those of you who don't know, my dad is from Oklahoma. I was named after both of my grandmothers. I'm Donita. It's not Donita, it's Donita Rose from Rosario. Uh -huh. So my mom is from my grandmother's Donita is from Oklahoma. Rosario is from Pangasinan. My mom's favorite dish, of course, all Pangasinans is love in a pen. That's how we say it. Pakbun. <laughs> okay. We only eat peanut bread at home with rice, pakbu, and cottage cheese with salt and pepper on top. And then some dito salt drink. With cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Yeah. Mm, that's yeah. Interesting. Because my dad, Shabri, died in Oklahoma, he moved to the Philippines. But, um, Compensate or maybe not to, to adjust to the culture. A, he's a white guy from redneck from Oklahoma who's eating peanut bread every day. So what he did was he started putting cottage cheese on everything like he does in Oklahoma. And everything we eat, well, before, everything that we would eat at home had cottage cheese on top. So you can even make it a no, mascarpone, you can you can do all the cheese. It's really good. Yeah. Even sinigang. Sinigang of cottage cheese, I promise you. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Try it. 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 I tried one time that I put peanut bit in my yen of Ah, okay. So you put the bamos inside of the peanut bit. Yes. Peanut bit. Oh. Have you tried it? Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The one piece of... You will cut it just to make a difference. Huh? You know, I never liked fish in our peanut bit just because... That's one of the reasons why I went to culinary school. Because... So, so what does it mean? And then I am a principal na isang mga bata. 
binigyan ng mga ko kasi she really believes gifted yung child. Kasi yun yung strength ng mga ko, yung gifted yung talent. So, anyway, natatch siya kung sa principal. And then, um, pero the teacher, the parent of the student, sabi niya sa mga ko, if you ever need anything, let them know. So, my mom told her, can you help my daughter apply for a job at the hotel? So, when we went in and applied, I brought my resume. resume. It was my first time to create a resume. I was going to get a picture. Then, I saw the executive chef. I saw the picture. Then, I saw it. Then, I said, wait, so you're here to stash? That you would demo me to the chef? So, you would have to audition. I said, yes, sir. He said, why is your effing picture on your resume? Sabi ko, ha? Ano ba ba ako? Sabi ko, um, sir, it's my first time to actually really apply for a job. He said, wow. And I said, well, I have a different background, you know, and, you know, and then, so he was like, but nobody puts their picture on their resume. But in the Philippines, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's right. So the shoe chef came in and, you know, alam niya naman niya ako, na parang hiyan niya ako. And he said, this uh, appointment with me. And I said, oh, my mom called a friend who works here. That was, ano daw, kapag union, they have to interview everybody, but I was not qualified or something. So I was really broken hearted. Anyway, that's a really long story. I went home, I called my mom, I was crying. My, one of my first rejections, na, sabi ng mom ko, ano, mawin ka na, magluluto ako para sa'yo. Eh, ayaw mo yung mundo ng mali. So, I was like, I don't know. You know, when you open the door, I don't know. Okay, so my mom and I have always been enemies. Because I'm so strict with my mom. So, I don't want to get away from my mom. And then, of course, I was like, 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 my mom opened the door. This is me, now, an adult. She opens the door. She said, Nana, come here. And I hugged my mom. And I was crying. On, in her arms. I was like 30, 37, 30, like old, older. And then Sophia, I'm not like, for you. I was like, no, she didn't know. So we went into the kitchen. She had freshly steamed rice. It was perfectly cooked. And she made banana ketchup, pork adobo, uh, pork tenderloin adobo with crispy potatoes. It was the most delicious thing that I've ever tried in my life. And so I turned that into one of my recipes. What's up again? Pork? So, um, adobo. Banana, banana ketchup, pork tenderloin adobo, with jalapenos and crispy potatoes. Okay. So it's saucy, and you put it over rice. You're like, jalapenos. Because yung asawa niya is, ano, um, Costa Rica. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> but, I looked at it, I was like... <laughs> and then after trying it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is probably one of the most delicious things I've ever tried in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the event tomorrow. Okay. okay. So what do you want people to take away from, from your event tomorrow? Uh, take out the joy. <laughs> besides that, uh, what is the takeaway? I just want people to be inspired by food. Whether it's to live a healthier lifestyle, um, to of course we would want you to, we would encourage you to get at least one of our salad master products because I'm pretty well the salad master products because it's really much better for your body. Um, but aside from that, to inspire people to be in the kitchen more often because now we live in such a fast-paced world where we always eat out of the but you don't know what's going into your body. Yeah. If you cook at home, you know what's going into your body. For sure. Very add to that. So um, when we were, when I went on board with the Rita, there's always in the community, the Filipino community here, there's a thought, there's a clamor for elevating the Filipino cuisine. So we have several restaurants. Um, and uh, I, still, I just feel there's a gap between the point where we want to reach 
and so far as bringing our Filipino food to what is actually being served. So um, that has also become my passion. Like, how do we do this? This way, we connected, I said, this is the perfect platform, you know? Maybe if I do it myself, nobody would take me seriously. But when a celebrity like you does it and really show people that there's a better way to cook and there's a better way even to serve the food and how it tastes, I think that would create a more impactful message uh, to the community. Because you see, food is very intertwined with culture. And when um, in a foreign country, when you're not being, you're not able to elevate your cuisine, it's tied to your culture, it's tied to your identity. So a lot of Filipinos here in Winnipeg know about the adobo, but what else do they know? Adobo, that's it, and that's it. Right? So where is there ever going to be a point where Caucasians, Koreans, Chinese, everybody, East Indians are really enjoying Filipino food? We haven't got it there. And I think what we're doing together along with Canada Skin and Radisson will get us small steps to the right direction. So um, the ticket tomorrow is people find it a bit pricey at $100. I, I understand that. But you see, we are not just bringing in entertainment where you dance and sing, make jokes and that's it. That's not this event is all about. First and foremost, we're showcasing Filipino cooking in a very elevated and elegant way. Right? But you as a Filipino will take pride of, like, this is my culture, this is my food, this is my product. So for me, that's why we're putting all the stops on bringing to the rose here because I really want to get the community towards that direction. A lot has been said, but nothing really that I feel some substance has been made towards the right direction. And I think yung pagkanta ko pala, sulit na yung hundred dollars mo. Kasi hindi mo yung eight hours mo yung pa. Basta sa'yo ako. Oo, 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 oo. Sa'yo ako. Sa'yo ako. Sa'yo ako. Sa'yo ako. Sa'yo ako. Sa'yo ako.
we should be marketing this to um, non Filipinos. Because, like, when I went, I, my half of my family is from Oklahoma. I cooked for them before. I did, like, a lot of these dishes. Like, I still the them, man. But they're like, they're so in awe. Like, Stevie Brown for them, they're like, what is this? They don't, they don't even know what Tom Yum is, or, you know, like, sour, you know, in Italian. So for them to try the soup, in Filipino food, you know, we can also make it nice, really good, and really delicious. And to me, they just to put things in perspective. So, for example, when I was in Bali, you have to pay 250 US dollars to get into a food tour. In Paris, I don't know, I paid 295 euro to get into a French food tour. And all the hundred dollars, my sayo, my nanta, right? And we're just gonna have fun and then it's 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 a food tour. Like, so you know, I mean, what 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 I mean, we still have probably, uh, we could still accommodate, I don't know, with the chefs, but probably we could still accommodate about 30 people more to, to get this event going. And I thought my vision is, without being asked, is I would like to bring in more celebrity guests to win it back. But we need to make jokes. Yeah. That doesn't serve uh, the jokes. That doesn't serve, I'm sorry, but that doesn't, uh, uh, I don't know what um, value. I don't. I don't now I don't know what value is for the rest of the world. There's a lot. There's, there's a lot of value. Yeah, yeah. So, this is a one of a kind experience that you won't find anywhere else. So, this is a one of a kind experience that you won't find anywhere else. So, this is a one of a kind experience that you won't find anywhere else. So, this is a one of a kind experience that you won't find anywhere else. So, this is a one of a kind experience that you won't find anywhere else. So, this is a one of um, to think we've only been planning this for three weeks. Um, yeah, we're gonna have so much fun. Uh, last question. For yes, me. yes. Uh, what advice can you give to the local uh, chef, local restaurants who want their Philippine Yes, very good. I think, because um, a lot of people, you can be a cook and not a chef, meaning you could um, have worked in the kitchen your whole life and not go to culinary school and vice versa. That doesn't make a difference. But what matters though is if you want to create dishes that will compete, you have to have quality ingredients. You have to make sure that, you know, if you know, the techniques are important too. If katula no is na primito na ganza parang unless that's really part of your presentation, you might want to remove that. Oh, you're right. You are at the right. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Because uh, I think we are Western owners. Caucasians are so grossed out by head. Yes. Right? So you're right. A Gumas by a Filipino restaurant and they see that head, even the eyes, like, I don't know, you are. That's a potential very awful way. So thank you, Alice, for asking that because. This are exactly the things, the, the fine, like when we have the halab, wala buto, wala buto, what's that, what's that? You know, like, for example, the halab, we would, you know, make a, um, uh, what do you call this, a stock from the shrimp shells. Some people might not know that that's really a lot of flavor, but the shrimp head adds a lot of flavor, but you don't want to see that in your sauce. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you, all the flavor is there. So those are techniques. I think te learning new techniques is important in living your food. So I think uh, this is very good. So restaurant owners, potential cooks, chefs, come and join tonight and just learn. Even as the, I, I'm sure as Anita speaks, no? and as the chef of Radisson and Canada's talk in a very professional level, there's so much, you know, there's so much that you could learn uh, from the experience. So yes. Yes, you do. 
Uh, another very underrated uh, food item is I think burro. Burro? It's fermented. Oh, oh, yeah. Fermented rice. Yeah, that's, that's fermented with rice, like uh, rice beans. But I think, to Tito Rob's point, um, as I said, uh, the restaurants kind of serve the same way. So this kind of food is maybe too risky yeah. for them, so they don't... Well, we won't, we won't grow if we yeah, just exactly. keep doing what we're doing. Right. Somebody yeah. has to go out there and... Do we have Doneta Bistro in Africa? You never know. Do we have Well, uh, go <laughs> You never know what's coming up next, but I guess, you see, with a simple, Concept like this, I'll lose it. Uh, uh, what's this? You see, how many people are watching us in Winnipeg right now? Well, is this the first step towards the real conversation on what we should be doing? Because a lot of restaurants we are struggling because we are not getting to the point where. Um, we are being, um, being um, um, considered, oh, we, we are getting to the mainstream market. So, who knows what this, a simple initiative like this could really do for the community. Whatever, right? But at least we're putting the first steps in the right direction. You see the last question, Ms. DFC? <laughs> Okay, so she's going to do a special interview with you. Uh, this would you like to have a special interview with Anita. So, um, that's about it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are really, um, this is going to be one of the as Anita said. So, and the thing about this is, now I'm not a also, now I'm not a lot involved by the scene. And also, Anita, I can get up at sauce. All the way from LA. Wow. You cannot even, we are, I, I told you. We are going to put a Dalala floss. Dalala floss. floss. We are going to put a Dalala 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 floss. No, no, no. So, uh, during the, in, in the process, when I know. So, I know. Uh, the problem is so good. So, I think, so, I am going to be, so, something. Oh, please go to the slides and put that. So, see you later. I have, I'm, I didn't answer it completely because I wasn't sure. I have pork floss and I also have exo sauce. I have like five bottles with me. And she said, like, can you explain it to me? And then I explained it to me. And it's bottle, it's, it's not striving. Okay, you're fine. I said, you're sure? Yeah, you're fine. So each bottle is this big. It's 30 US dollars. And she didn't even, we didn't even talk about it. Like, did I buy it? No, she just wanted to really create the best experience possible. Get the venue support the Radisson in and cut it in. Like, they put all the staff, all the chefs, all the floor, kind of chopping the vegetables and doing all that. And they, I was, I was actually telling Jumar, I think you found respect for chefs. Because the way that they want perfection on the deal tomorrow, they've been preparing this two days, two nights ago. And she said, come on, so, um, all I'm saying is, it's, you won't regret coming, so I really hope everybody just comes and support this endeavor. So, see everybody, so 6 of the gate opens at 6.30 p.m. It's going to be at Cannons and Polo Park uh, Event Center. So, I, I think there will be signages there that will lead you to where it is. And then we'll start uh, the program. Uh, the way it's going to do this, we're going to set up a platform, a stage. The need is going to cook live. But don't worry, she'll cook in small portion. And every, at the end of the cooking, the food will be served to everybody. So it's a course going around the whole night. So what kind of experience is that? And the highlight is what's the highlight? Just say what? Say what? Come on. I can't have a shot. So you can highlight and then we're just going to have fun and party with Mr. Little Rose. So I really hope you come and, and join us too. Thank you.
and or uh, I think whoever is doing live right now so you can pop up us. Otherwise, you show up, no, don't show up. It's hard yeah. Because the chefs are going to be so bad. Sadly, we have we have double the number by tomorrow and the food. Oh my god. After all the things that have been done, we are not going to win this. Please, our security in this tonight so the, the chefs and the meat will have fun. Time to go. You know, they wake up all this 6 a.m. tomorrow. Huh? Yes, they're going to start doing work in the kitchen again until perfection is done. So, hopefully, you see everybody. Last words. Um, last words. Um, my boy,